Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to compute these function compositions at these values of x. Let's do this one first here on the left. So this is the same thing as f of g of negative 4. Really easy to memorize, it's just the same order, fg, fg. So now let's go to the side and let's work out this inside piece, g of negative 4. So g of negative 4 means we put a negative 4 where the x is in g. So it means we get the absolute value of negative 4. And the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. Right? Because um, whenever you have an absolute value and you have a number, it always makes it positive. Unless you have 0, of course. Uh, the absolute value of 0 is 0. But otherwise, uh, it's going to become positive. So this is f of 4. And then now we just look at f and we replace the x with 4. So this is 4 plus 5. And that's the same thing as 9. And that would be the final answer. I suppose I should have maybe some equal signs here, just for added clarity. Let's go ahead and do this one here. So this one is the same as g o f of negative 4. And it's just left to right. So you just write it like this, g of f of negative 4. So just like before, we'll go to the side and we'll work out this piece here, this f of negative 4. So f of negative 4. So that means we replace x here with negative 4. So that'll be negative 4 plus 5. So that's 1. So we just have g of, well we said it was 1, so g of 1. So now we look at g. g of x is the absolute value of x. So this is equal to the absolute value of 1, which is just equal to 1. And again, I suppose I should have some equal signs here for added clarity. And that would be the answer. So basically, you just write it down, and then you work this piece out on the side, okay? And then you plug it back in. And then you just keep going. Same thing here. You write it down, and then you work this piece out on the side, and then you just plug it back in. And then you just keep going. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.